tonight. For one night and one night only. Sex! The crowd goes wild. I'm talking about one night stands, people, and whether you are bumping uglies for the night with someone who you kinda know, or basically a stranger, sometimes you go into the sex knowing that there is not gonna be a sequel. Listen, casual sex is fun. Think about all the things that you've learned about yourself and others from all the non-committal encounters that you've ever had, like going to the barber shop or standing in line talking to a stranger. One night stands can be incredible incredibly gratifying experiences. But it's only truly great if everyone is having a good time, which is something you can definitely ensure with my extensive highly effective guide to female pleasure called She Comes Too. And even though there's so much fun to be had in a one night stand, unfortunately, there's also a lot that can go wrong. So with this in mind, I've come up with Caitlin's three rules for a glorious one night stand certified by me, Caitlin B, your sex and relationship coach extraordinaire. I hear horror stories all the time. I mean, don't we all have that friend who unknowingly went home with someone only to discover their extensive amphibian collection? I mean, no offense to any lizard lovers out there, but if getting laid involves holding your pet iguana for an hour beforehand, I just want to know in advance. And there are some big risks that come with having sex in general. I mean, as you might expect, if you're doing the deed with someone who you don't know all that well, it's super important to be mindful of what you're getting yourself into, iguanas aside. Part of the fun and excitement of a one night stand is that you actually don't know what to expect. And while the variety and unpredictability of casual one night only sex can be great, it's important that everyone involved is respectful and responsible to both themselves and each other. And side note, in case you're thinking that this only applies to single dudes, I want you to consider, can you have a one night stand with your wife of 20 years? Absolutely. Give yourself each a stage name, meet at a hotel bar, take it upstairs, and tear each other apart. You can wear wigs and fake mustaches or whatever you need to get into the part. Okay, here we go. Kaylin's Guide to Magnificent One Night Stands. Number one, get tested. If you are out there having one night stands, slinging your genitals around town and enjoying all of the corporal pleasures of free and fast loving with practical strangers, I am here for you. I just want you to make sure that love is the only thing that you're spreading. Getting regularly tested for STDs should be part of everyone's sexual health routine, especially if you're not in a monogamous relationship. And I know STD tests can be scary. We have all had those moments where we've had the test taken, but we don't know the results and it's really scary and we're sure we're gonna die a slow painful death. But listen, if you are a mature adult who's capable of having sex, you are also mature and totally capable of getting an STD test. And you don't need to be afraid of the results because every single STD and STI known to man can be treated in some form or fashion. And the best way to get over your nerves is just to make it a part of your regular routine. And of course, on top of using condoms, which I'm not gonna nag you for because we both know you're already using them, and if for any reason you're not, I highly recommend checking these out from my favorite condom company, Royal. There is an affiliate link in the description. Boom. <laughs> And of course, it's important to exchange some contact information with everyone who you sleep with just in case your dick does happen to catch a cold. Number two, know and speak your boundaries. So you know you're not out spreading the love bug because you are a good responsible sex haver who's getting tested regularly. So if rule number one has to do with physical safety, then rule number two has to do with emotional safety. When you're having casual or one night only sex, it's super important to go into it knowing what you are and are not comfortable with. Now, this starts with the sex itself, like knowing to insist on using protection, knowing what you are and are not interested in doing, but it extends to after the encounter. For example, what are you gonna do if the condom breaks? Are you sure the person that you're about to sleep with is on the same page? Have you made a clear agreement that this is just a one night stand? Or does one of you have different expectations? Anything you want out of sex is fair 
and valid and you owe it to yourself to live authentically and to do what works for you. And because it takes two to tango, it is important to have these conversations ahead of time and it doesn't have to be awkward. Clear and direct communication is so crucial for any romantic or sexual experience, even if it's just the night. Think about it like this. You're having sex with someone, you ejaculate in the condom, you pull out only to realize that the condom broke or it stayed inside of her and now she has been exposed to your baby gravy. There's a whole lot of things that have got to be considered right away. Is she open to taking plan B? Is she opening, opening? Is she open to terminating the pregnancy? Are you and the person who you just met 30 minutes ago at the bar willing to create a baby and bring it into the world? It doesn't actually matter how you feel or where you stand on any of these issues. What matters is that you know where you stand and that you communicate that with her before you do the deed. I know it may sound a little extreme to have these conversations before you jump into bed, but trust me, better to have it then than in a panic after. Number three, this is my favorite, celebrate yourselves and each other. You are getting laid. That's amazing and it's totally worth celebrating. Sex is awesome. If you agree with that, please make sure that you are subscribed to this channel because you are not going to want to miss any of my videos designed to make sex even more awesome. And the best way to honor how awesome sex is, is by celebrating it. Celebrating each other, celebrating each other's bodies, experiences, celebrating the pleasure, that's amazing and we're celebrating. And the best way to celebrate is to do it together. This means celebrating each other's bodies, celebrating each other's experiences, and celebrating each other's pleasure. You're not in the bed to sleep, you're in it to feel good. And pleasure is a dish best served family style. Okay, wait, sorry, no, that came out wrong. I mean, just mean everybody gets some, we share it, we all have our forks in it, you know what I mean? Celebrating is important, especially during one night stands, because we all tend to be kind of focused on our own experience. But I guarantee, the more that you focus on your partner's pleasure, the more that you're gonna get out of it. Making sure you deliver in the bedroom every single time not only makes you a better lover, but it also increases your sense of confidence and satisfaction. I mean, no one wants to be a lazy lay. You have got a chance to freaking rock her world. Why would you not take it? That's why I built an entire female pleasure and orgasm masterclass to turn you into an epic lover, complete with demonstrations and a step-by-step -step breakdown of all things seduction, so getting her into bed, foreplay, including manual and oral sex, penetration, anal sex, sex toys, you name it, I cover it in my course, She Comes To. It is my chef's kiss masterpiece, my greatest contribution to helping you to become the best lover you can be. So even if you just have sex the once, she's gonna remember you for the rest of her life. If you want to be unforgettable in bed, I highly recommend that you check it out. It comes with a 90 day money back guarantee you literally have nothing to lose. And the other reason that it is so important for you to celebrate is because women sometimes deal with a lot of shame after these sexual encounters. I mean, we have been told over and over and over again that spreading our legs for a relative stranger is definitely going to send us directly to hell. It's not fair, but it is a part of our experiences. And so what you can do to help us in the healing to dismantle all of those negative connotations that come with being a woman who enjoys sex is by celebrating and praising her. Putting in the effort to make sure that her needs are met by asking her what she likes and what makes her feel valued and respected. Just because you're hitting it and quitting it doesn't mean that you cannot hit her with some serious appreciation. I mean, after all, she welcomed you inside of her body, so make sure that you honor what a privilege it is to be there. So there you have it, my three rules for amazing one night stand and casual sex success. The truth is, the best way to become your most satisfied, empowered, incredible sexual self is by treating every time you get laid as an opportunity to grow. And this means seeing every encounter as a chance to connect more deeply with yourself and 
to provide an incredible experience to whoever you are sharing the bed with. My name is Caitlin B. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you're subscribed and follow me on Instagram and on TikTok at CaitlinVictoriousX for daily sex advice and tips. I will see you here next week. Thank you.